Today we will see some interesting examples related to area of triangle. Find out the area of following triangle XYZ. In this obtuse angle triangle, triangle XYZ, the line segment XO is perpendicular on the opposite sides YZ of the vertex X. If we consider YZ as the base of the triangle and XO as the height, where XO is equal to 2.8 cm and YZ is equal to 4.6 cm, so the area of triangle XYZ will be equal to half multiplied by base multiplied by height is equal to half YZ multiplied by XO that is half 4.6 cm multiplied by 2.8 cm. On solving this, we get the area of triangle XYZ as 6.44 square cm. We can solve it in another way also. In triangle XYZ, line segment YW is perpendicular on side XZ. In triangle XYZ, if we consider side XZ as base and perpendicular YW as height, then the area of triangle XYZ will be half XZ multiplied by YW, that is, the area of triangle XYZ will be 6.44 square centimeter. Here, in both cases, we have considered different sides as base and by considering their corresponding perpendicular, we have calculated the area. In both the cases, we have got an equal answer. Can you tell the reason behind this? Think, think. Let me tell you. This is because in both cases, we have taken the same triangle to find out area. If we consider any side of the triangle as base and its corresponding perpendicular as height, then it will not change the area of the triangle. Therefore, in both cases, the area of the triangle is same. So, with the help of the length of one side of the triangle and its corresponding height, the area of the triangle can be calculated. It is not necessary that the length of all sides should be known. Next example. Below is triangle ADB of area 30 square centimeter and triangle ADC of area 54 square centimeter. The line segment AD is perpendicular on BC. If BD is 5 centimeter, then find the measurement of line segment AD and line segment DC. It is given that the area of triangle ADB is 30 square centimeter and the area of triangle ADC is 54 square centimeter. In both these triangles, AD is common. We know that the area of the triangle is half multiplied by base multiplied by height. In this way, if we know the measurement of the area of the triangle, base or its corresponding height of any two from these three, then we can easily find the measure of the third. Such as, the area of triangle ADB is 30 square centimeter. Since the side BD and side AD are perpendicular to each other, this means that angle ADB is the right angle. That's why triangle ADB is a right angle triangle. In case of right angle triangle, we can consider one of these perpendicular sides as base and the other side as height. Here, we will consider the side BD as base and side AD as height. In this way, we can write area of triangle ADB is equal to half multiplied by BD multiplied by AD. We know the area and measure of side BD. So, we can find the measure of AD. For this, we will arrange the equation multiplying both sides by 2 and dividing by BD we get area of triangle ADB multiplied by 2 divided by BD is equal to AD. We can write this as AD is equal to area of triangle ADB multiplied by 2 divided by BD. 
since the area of triangle ADB is 30 square centimeter and the length of line segment BD is 5 centimeter, that is, we get AD is equal to 12 centimeter. In triangle ADB and triangle ADC, side AD is common. Since in triangle ADC, AD and side DC are perpendicular to each other, we can say that triangle ADC is also a right angled triangle. Here also, we can consider either the side AD and DC as base and the other as height. Let's consider side DC as base and AD as height in triangle ADC. We can write the area of triangle ADC is equal to half multiplied by DC multiplied by AD. Therefore, DC is equal to area of triangle ADC multiplied by 2 divided by AD, which is equal to 54 multiplied by 2 divided by 12 cm. In this way, we will get DC is equal to 9 cm. Today we have seen some interesting examples related to area of triangle. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to area of the triangle.